So we're starting at around 2 o'clock this morning. That's when the rain moved in. It came in the form of a cold front. We weren't quite getting Nate just yet. And that's what you're seeing right here on our satellite and radar composite loop. Now, there was heavy rain at times. That was basically the thunderstorms that were decaying, losing all of the daytime heating. We're talking about some pretty heavy rain that came in. So let's take a look at the satellite and radar composite loop. And you can tell that that cold front, I mean, it stretched all the way from Paducah to Ashland at one point. And then it stalled. It just sat basically in that spot for a few hours. And that's the reason why we've been having flooding scenarios, especially where the strongest of those showers and thunderstorms were sitting. Well, they were dying off, but they were still dropping heavy rain. And that stretched from Ohio County all the way into western Woodford. But even Fayette County, I mean, we still had over two inches of rain at both reporting sites. Uh, the one in southeast Lexington and the one at the Bluegrass Airport. So obviously some heavy rain came in just with this one feature right here. But look what we're starting to get down from the south. That is the outer feeder band of Nate, what is now Tropical Storm Nate. It was a hurricane when it made landfall uh, yesterday. So that's where the center of circulation is with this storm. Notice how it basically connects to the stalled out front that is also connected to another upper level low. It's non-tropical, but still a very impressive storm system in itself. So a lot happening over the east side of the country, especially since we haven't seen rain in 17 days. I'm not just talking about us, I'm talking about pretty much everybody that was in that blocking high pressure. This is the rain profile, basically radar estimated throughout the last 12 hours. Obviously the heaviest of everything being down with Nate, but we got our fair share with that cold front that came through. In fact, at the Bluegrass Airport since midnight, over two and a half inches of rain. Over one and a half for Mount Sterling, same thing for Moorhead. We almost got one and three quarters there. Elizabethtown almost to one inch. Obviously, everything is riding right along that line, but we're also seeing up to almost a half of an inch for areas down near McCreary County. Litchfield, over two and a half. That was one of the rainiest spots, one of the spots that got the heaviest of the rain. That's why we had a flash flood warning there earlier. It has since expired, but the flood advisory does still extend all the way to western Woodford County until about 845 this morning. So just be aware that in those spots there will be flooding happening. Minor scale, that's of course good news. But there's still going to be more rain to come. We're not finished with this system. Now don't look at these colors and think that that's going to be severe or anything like that. This is kind of overdoing the color scheme. Just think about where it's going to be because it's going to show you how that rain band is going to lift north, bring a little bit more heavy rain to the bluegrass, central Kentucky and eastern Kentucky, and then continue to push north. Now we're talking about the center of circulation of this storm now getting into Kentucky. So some heavy rain expected for our southeastern counties. And then eventually it moves out by tomorrow evening. We're done with the system, but we still have low pressure in place. So a few pop-up showers in the afternoon, not out of the question. Same thing goes for Tuesday. We're still in an active weather pattern. We're not necessarily dealing with Nate anymore. We just have enough low pressure to keep showers and thunderstorms going throughout Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's talk a little bit more about Nate. Tropical storm down to 70 mile per hour sustained winds still booking at 23 miles per hour. That's the thing that has been keeping this system moving like it has. It made it landfall down there, the delta of the Mississippi. And there, I mean, there's nothing down there. So really the, the real landfall, the one that everybody was paying attention to was Biloxi, Gulf Shores, a lot of wind, tropical storm force winds all the way out towards the panhandle of Florida. Now this thing is going to move today until t this evening, making it probably as a low-end tropical storm by the time it gets to us. Wind still going to be very, I mean, low enough to where we won't really, really be dealing with that. It's more the rain with this system that eventually becoming post-tropical as we get into Tuesday. So that system will quickly make its exit. Just as quick as it came in, it's going to move out. Now, as we go throughout Tuesday and Wednesday, no longer are we dealing with Nate, but we at least have that chance for shower and thunderstorm activity to come in we will get back to the sunshine and we will get back to the summer weather, especially as we get into Thursday. So I like to call this weather for everyone. Oh, that's very nice. Very uh, fair of you, I guess. Yeah, I, th I think, I mean, <laughs> if you like the, the, the cooler weather, the rain, the, the heat, there you go. All, All I know week. is it's going to be, it's nice to get this rain, but it will be nice when the rain goes away. Absolutely. I think we'll be tired of it and at that outside. point. Enjoy yeah. it.